How's it been? Isn't it good? The way you like it. Crispy, crunchy, yeah. chatpata. Today, we're going to do something chatpata. Because Queen Victoria loves a lot of snacks and chatpata things. And we're going to do with leftover parota. We're going to make this awesome egg chilli parota. So for this, first, you got to take the leftover parota and cut them into pieces. Take a pizza cutter or use your knife. This is so tasty that people actually make fresh paratha and then they cut it and use it. So you don't have to use the leftovers only. Just cut these parathas small. And later we are going to put it in the hot oil and fry. And uh, fry till they are nice and crunchy. Wow, wow, wow. So it is so crunchy. This is like papri. So first you have to make this with the paratha. Then we are going to make egg. So beat an egg and make a kind of a flat omelette. Here is the eggs. Add a little bit of salt and on a hot pan just you know like a plain omelette. And then that also we are going to cut into pieces of the same size. Add some oil in a pan and pour the eggs. You don't have to do anything. Just spread the egg evenly and let the omelette form. Then Take the egg, just you know, make it ulta. And you know, this nice fresh omelette, you're going to put it on the chopping board here. Take this egg, slide it, and take the cutter and cut into small pieces. Take the pieces of parota in the hot oil, fry them just the way we fry our papri. And this will become nice, crispy. You're going to fry them till they are gal 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 gal. When the sizzling stops here, then Take the pieces and add in this bowl. See, this dish is going to be super tasty only when these things make galgal sound. Can you hear? Amma! Oh, Amma! Aitu paisali, Amma! Baba! Das rupaya eto de de baba! You know, crispy roti, omelette, and all the, you know, onion, capsicum green chilli, garlic, everything. So, let's make this street style. Thoda tel dal de, add some oil. In this, add some ginger, ginger paste. Add finely cut garlic. Add, you know, big pieces of onion, capsicum and green chilli. This is to spice it up a little bit and saute it. Now, in this, we're going to add sauces. Tomato ketchup, chilli sauce, either you can use green or red little bit of vinegar for the sourness, some soya sauce and look at this, ah, mm, already getting good aroma. In this add chili powder, some crushed pepper, pinch of garam masala and now in this add water. You have to bring this to a nice boil, add salt, add little bit of sugar and even a little bit of, uh, you know, if you want, you can add a little bit of MSG. Mm. Still, I think I need to add more salt. Now, look at this. It is nicely boiling. We're going to take some corn starch, add water. We're going to make a slurry because before we add the roti, this has to get slightly thickened. This corn slurry, mix it well. And now, in the hot boiling sauce, add little by little. Don't add too much because a lot of times you can make it really thick. So this has to be thin sauce, not thick. Look at this. Now this is the right consistency. Add the galgal bread, add chopped coriander and the egg, the omelets here and drop all of this. Uh -huh. Now all you need to do is just toss them over. Now you know some of these uh, roti will absorb some of the moisture and the rest of them will be nice and crispy. You know, you can make it as an evening snack or even as a, you know, evening dinner. So this is all ready. And when you eat, you will still find a lot of crunch in this curd. And I'm going to keep that here and take the chili parota with the sauce, put it in the center. Okay. Ah, the chili parota. Look at this. Wow, you know, the crunchy, crunchy parota 
the pieces of that egg fried egg will make it very very tasty the sauce is silky and the crunchy paratha i'm telling you it is so tasty when you eat it you're going to dance with this egg and the crunchiness oh my god this is so hot it's fuming this is fuming mm. you will be surprised that even after 4 5 minutes this will still remain crunchy from inside make it and as i tell you when you eat this good you got to dance ding chik ding chik ding chik ding chik ding chik for making this parotta barotta whatever you call it add some salt add water in this add oil to get that layers you got to make this dough nice and soft add more water and when we actually make the paratha we kind of beat it the dough is nice and soft all you have to do is fingering but not with single finger all the fingers so add some oil on top take your fingers so this kind of fingerings will let some of the oil go in so like this let it to rest for at least 15 minutes just pull the dough and squeeze it once again just squeeze the dough and do like this and keep the dough ready after this we are going to do sweet beating ding chik ding chik ding chik ding chik beating of the dough now you know take a small dough just first spread it with your hand add some oil yes you know that is what we do so with the hand you can do it or else you can take a rolling pin and just with the rolling pin just roll it okay look at this so this because of the oil this will be sliding so take four fingers okay four fingers each and like this four fingers go bottom four fingers come on top then uta uta ke aisa mana hai so what this does is this will stretch it to a thin sheet look at this like this so when you stretch it thin like this look at this you can also apply butter or whatever you want you can add a little bit of oil and this will become kind of transparent okay then look at this you can actually see through then fold it then the air sh the the air should be stuck in these folds then roll it and that's it and just drop it put your finger like this and then just see roll it like this okay and again stuff it in so this way of doing it is very very easy so you got to roll it and then transfer it into hot tawa okay and let it cook on both sides add little bit of oil ghee butter whatever you want so add oil turn the paratha to other side and let it cook till it is beautifully lovingly colored now you know make sure you cook the parathas well on both sides that's when the layers will open up add little bit of ghee oil butter whatever you want and then take four five parathas then you have to beat it look at the way beat it like this and the layers will form see these layers is what we thoroughly enjoy in a paratha look at all this serve these parathas on a plate mm, mm, mm. Mm.